Welcome to part one of the DIY Fusion 360 clamp videos. What do we do in a new Fusion 360 file? Right click, new component, name it, long arm, activate it, and save it. So now that it's activated, we can sketch within that component. Really important, folks. Hit R for rectangle. Click on this plane. And I'm just going to sketch a 1 by 6 rectangle. And then sketch another 1 by 2.5 rectangle. Now for the most part you can leave sketch geometry that you may not necessarily use. I'll show that in a second, but I actually do want to trim these two guys away. Now you can see that this line is black and this is blue. Those lines mean something and if you don't have those colored lines, click on your name, preferences, preview and turn on this sketch constraint thing. What that's going to tell you is black lines are fully constrained. They can't move anymore because they're defined. Also, really important. Let's start modeling our part. We, I know we're going to want a midpoint circle. So I like having stuff I use at the top. If you don't have it, hover over what you want, add to toolbar. Point. Let it snap to right there. L for line. Click drag a line down. Hit escape once. That reactivates the select thing. Click on the line. Normal construction. I've now got a construction line right there. C for circle will let me start sketching a 0.375 inch circle. Perfect. Now I happen to know we need a bunch of circles around this part so let's just go ahead and bang those out. Not going to worry about their dimensions just yet. We will come back to do all that. First things first, all of these in the top need to be aligned horizontally and vertically. So if you click that, it'll stay active through this. So click the first dot, then here. Click the second dot here, dot here, and then these two. I actually want these vertical to a center line, so I'm going to click point, snap a point, go back to horizontal vertical, point, then this, point, then that, perfect. Uh, if you want to check, it almost looks like those aren't. Yep, they're good. Okay. Dimension those circles. Hit D for dimension. Click on this one, 0.75. Now, the, and we're going to bring this in that divided by 2. Put it right on the edge. Formula trick. Now, I know that the next two should be the same diameter, so just click a couple ways you could do it. You could click on here and then just click there. That would work fine. Or you can do equal, click here, click there, whatever you want. Dimension this over to here. I'll just say that. It will save me a second to do it that way. Oops. Dimension this, 0.375. Actually, you know what? I lied. That one's 0.1875. Sorry. This one's the same. You'll notice we, these are still blue, and I don't actually know why, because I thought I had done a horizontal vertical on them. I must have done something. Oh, you know what it is? That's interesting. It is horizontal vertical, but this width wasn't set correctly. That's cool. So. Just hit D and just sketch this to one inch. Now they're all black. Everything except this guy is locked into place. Now everything's black. Win. The part wasn't an L-shaped. It had some contours to it. So hit L for line. We're just going to sketch four lines coming off the points here. And sometimes when I'm going to use a constraint, I actually like to put the geometry out, out of place. That way when the constraint apply, is applied, it actually snaps in and I see that it really worked. So one, two, 
you'll notice I do need to make sure it snaps to that uh, OD of the circle there. Three, four. Now click tangent. Click here, 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 here. I get, oh, wrong order. Uh oh. Hmm. Tangent. Don't know what happened, to be honest with you. That's okay. Just delete it. L for line. Try again. No idea. That's okay. I'm not perfect. Click here and here, here and here. Awesome. Same thing, I need a midpoint first along this. And there may be a better way to do it, but that's how I've always done it. This one, we're actually, we're actually going to want to snap it in like so. And you know what, actually, it kind of, if I recall, we're going to have it go out a little ways. Tangent, and if you look at that, we are 100% black, awesome, ready to extrude. Hit Q for press pull. Um, and you know, I didn't used to like having to select all these faces. I thought it was kind of amateurish. I actually like it now. Uh, point one, and I think we're good. So that's our first part. Save, it auto saves. Once you've created the file and saved it once, it'll auto save, which is awesome. So now, right click, new component, we'll call this one short arm, activate it, and now when you create a sketch, we're going to sketch it in place. This is a, one of the big differences is you're building it in place. And with that, stay tuned for next week when we create the second one.